is it gone? I don't know. Sometimes I think it's gone, but then spring is right around the corner. Frog, I think I may have spring fever. Ooh. Don't worry, pig. One swallow does not a spring make. What about two? Ooh. Spring is coming. Spring is here. Spring is in the air. Hmm. I have an idea. Frog? Yes, pig? Spring has officially sprung. Pig, you are my hero. Mwah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to story time. We have a very special story time today because Sarah and I happen to be in the building on the same day, so we decided to do the whole thing together. So we're going to do the whole thing together. And uh, because of the whole mask thing, um, we're going to do stretches first, and then when I play my song, you know, Sarah's going to give me six feet, so... I'm going to so, step off frame for a little bit, and then come on back exactly. in for some stories. All right, so I'm so glad you could join us. Let's uh, start off with our stretches, all right? Here we go, reach up to the sky. Oh, boy. Uh, reach out front of you. Reach out behind you. There. Out to the side. Over this way. And over this way. And over this way. And over this way. And shake them out. Shake them high, shake them low, shake them high, shake them low, shake them high, shake them low, shake them high. Uh oh. What are you doing? Shake them low. That's not right. I think I'm confused. Shake them high. But I'm always a little confused. Which one of us is right? Shake them low. Pat your belly. Pat your head. Pat your head in your belly. Pat your belly in your head. Pat your other head. Pat your other belly. Pat your knee head. Pat your foot head. Pat the head on top of your head. Pat the head on top of the head on top of your head. Pat your teeny tiny nose head. Pat your teeny tiny ear head. Stick your tongue. Boo. You can't see our tongue. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna sing a song now. This is our good morning song and how I've been doing this lately since you could be watching this at any time. I've been uh, singing good morning, good day, and good evening. So I sing a line and then you sing a line. Sarah, you want to sing while you're off screen? Sure. Are you ready? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. And how do you do? Join me for a song. Join me for a song. It won't take too long. It won't take too long. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Whether it's bright or gray. Whether it's bright or gray. And one thing is clear. And one thing is clear. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you're here. All right, good day, ready? A good day to you. And how do you do? And how do you do? Join me for a song. Join me for a song. It won't take too long. It won't take too long. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Whether it's bright or gray. Whether it's bright or gray. And one thing is clear. And one thing is clear. We're glad that you're here. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. 
And how do you do? And how do you do? Join us for a song. Join us for a song. It won't take too long. It won't take too long. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Whether it's bright or gray. So glad that you're here. Yay. Thank you for joining us. And we're going to read you a story now. Ooh. All right. This is one that we've never read in story time before. <laughs> we're both very excited about. It's called Unstoppable. Unstoppable by Adam Rex and illustrated by Laura Park. You have to do it. <laughs> and fly to soar happy and carefree oh man are you joking do i look carefree i almost got eaten by a cat i just wish i could fly that's all and i wish i could pinch that cat on the nose with big snapping claws i have claws oops <laughs> oh yeah that's right i have claws <laughs> Crab bird! Bird crab! Boop! <laughs> Unstoppable! <laughs> oh boy, life is perfect now. Yeah, perfect. Except... Except what? It's nothing. No, man, tell me. Well, I've always been a little envious of ducks. Who hasn't? They can fly and swim. Hey, uh, can we talk to you about something? Unstoppable! Crab Birdle! Crab Birdle Bird! Crab Turd! <laughs> We've done it, my friends. Now, nothing can stand in our... Whoa! Uh, what the? What was that guy's problem? I think perhaps we ought not to... Oh, I went out of order. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go back and pinch him? I think perhaps we not ought to... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> a cat is one thing, but a bear? We should just fly away. No. No way. I'm going in. <laughs> hey, man. Steve? Hey, Steve, uh, I don't know what you're so angry about, but I think maybe it's because you wish you could be a part of this incredible thing we've got going on. I think maybe you're lonely. I think maybe you could use some friends. Unstoppable! <laughs> bird, uh, bird, oh, bear! Crab, bird, bear, bird! Tur, bear, bird, crab! Steve! <laughs> <laughs> what are those yellow things? You haven't heard? They're digging up the lakefront and building a shopping mall. But it's our home. My friends, we are lost. I know of no animal who can stop this. I have an idea. The president. and I want to help, but I cannot. What? But you're the queen of America. No, I am the president. You need a new law to protect your home. And the president doesn't make the law. That's the job of Congress. What's Congress? Unstoppable! Stop! Congress 
Congress is called to order. All in favor of making this lakefront a protected park for all the animals forever? Aye. 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 And people say, if the night is clear and your heart is true, you can still see Congressy Bird Bob Turtle Bear flying over this great land, passing laws and pinching the noses that need to be pinched. Our national bird is an eagle because it is easier to draw. Good night, children. The end. The end. <laughs> that was a wild ride. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sing a song now. <clears throat> All right, so if you want to, you can start by sitting down. Because it's more fun to stand up when you're sitting down. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Here we go. Stand up. We also haven't done this in a story time before. I was just going to so. say, all of our stories today are brand new. Yes, we like winging it here at the Webster Public Library. That's our middle name. <laughs> Webster winging it public library. Yeah, let's go with that. By, this is by Fred Blunt. There's a lot so much funny stuff going on. <laughs> with the face on that turbo there. Oh, yes, <laughs> to the base of that frog. There. And then look at that rabbit over there, you know. And then, and then there's the French fry right there. Yep. And, uh, you know. yep, yep. 
And this is a banana tree. I was going to say it's an orange tree. It kind of oh, looks right. like an orange tree. Yeah, you're right. I think it is an orange tree. This little fellow is a gnome. Say hello to the readers, Mr. Gnome. No! Where are you going, Mr. Gnome? Nowhere! Can we come along? No! What a shame. Ah, uh, fishing. Gnomes like fishing. Can we join in? No! You're not very friendly. We'd better not disturb Mr. Gnome while he's fishing. Shoo! Golly! Oh, look. Here comes a hedgehog. He's got an apple stuck on his spines. Poor Mr. Hedgehog. Excuse me. Could you please help me by taking this apple off my back? You can have the juicy red apple if you like. I prefer worms. Isn't Mr. Hedgehog polite? No! You're not polite, Mr. Gnome. Oh, that wasn't very nice, Mr. Gnome. Didn't you want to help that kind, polite hedgehog? No. But you could have had that lovely, juicy red apple. Don't you like apples, Mr. Gnome? Yes, but... I mean, no, 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 no. There is no need to shout. Thanks. <laughs> Who's this coming along eating Hedgehog's juicy red apple? Is it a witch? Excuse me, gnome. Could you stop fishing in my pond? It scares my toads. No. Well, really, I'll give you one chance to say sorry and move or else. N-O spelled now. Mr. Gnome might be making a big mistake. Take that, you rude little man! <laughs> <laughs> One more time. One more time. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Take that, you rude little man! <laughs> <laughs> He's sorry now. You look good with the others. Whatever does she mean? Wow, that's a fun collection of gnomes you have, Miss Witch. Thank you, dear. How many are there? Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You didn't count this boot. And a boot. <laughs> Eight gnomes in a boot. I guess that's what it means is there's a lot of rude gnomes. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Gnome has learned his lesson now. Could you change him back, please? Please, please, please? No! Well, well, well. So now we know where the garden gnomes come from. <laughs> there's garden gnomes for sale. The original and the best. Buy one, get one free. Gnome, sweet gnome. <laughs> Hand painted. <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> All right. Oh, we gonna do the other one. All right. Just right. This one's called "We Disagree." This is a good one. Hello, hello. Do you like figs? Uh, no, I don't. I snack on twigs. Do you like blue and polka dots? No, I like red. I don't like spots. Do you like newts and toads and frogs? No way. I just like prairie dogs. Do you like warm and sunny skies? Uh, I prefer gray. Sun hurts my eyes. Do you like skates? Do you like bikes? I don't like wheels. I'd rather hike. You must like flutes, guitars, and drums. No, no, and no. I'd rather hum. Hum, hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, hum, hum dee dum. <laughs> What's wrong with blue? What's wrong with frogs? What's wrong with gray and prairie dogs? We don't agree. We can't be friends. There's nothing more. This is the end. 
Yes, I agree. Wait, what do you say? What did you say? What happens next? We just agreed. I'm quite perplexed. We're not the same. Uh, indeed, that's true. Agreed again. But why choose blue? Well, blue is sea and blue is sky. But red is leaves and cherry pie. Hey, let's disagree some more. Let's disagree, yes. Do you like friends? I'll let you guess. The end. All right, well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. Remember to be kind to yourselves and to be kind to each other. And I almost forgot, um, two more weeks of YouTube story time. And then starting in May, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday at the Harmony Park Amphitheater, weather permitting, we're going to start doing outdoor story times at 9.30 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays from May all the way through until yes. August. So if you so, like the recordings, you're going to love the live yes. show. <laughs> and uh, so you can, um, you have to register and we have to wear masks and do the social distancing and all that. The, the village is requiring that. But uh, if you want to join us, uh, the registration is open now and you have to register for each one individually, but feel free to check our calendar and we hope to see you in just a few weeks in person Yay! in story time. All right. So till next time.